Hi there and welcome. I'm the Technician Project. And today's tutorial is going to show you some keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to start off our tutorial today in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we're going to quickly look at the keyboard shortcuts within Premiere Pro. If you click on Premiere Pro in your on your Mac and you click keyboard shortcuts, this will show all the keyboard shortcuts that are related to Premiere Pro and what you can do with them. You can change the keyboard shortcuts to suit your preferences, but we're just going to leave it the same at the moment. I'll leave this on the page for a couple minutes just so you can have a look at all the keyboard shortcuts they are. There is quite a lot to remember. We will be doing a couple videos on keyboard shortcuts just to make it easier to break down. We're saying hit OK at the bottom here. But the first shortcut we're going to do is adjust track height. Now we need to click on our edit window at the bottom down here and we're going to adjust the track height by clicking shift and equals and shift and minus. So shift and equals makes it bigger and shift and minus makes it smaller. We're now going to click command and equals or increase the video size and command minus will decrease the video size. We're going to click option equals to increase the audio size and option minus to decrease the audio size. If you press backslash, it will show all your items in your edit window at the same time. If you press D, it will select all the clips that are in line with the playhead. So as you can see, it selected the first clip and the second and the bottom clip. If I move the playhead, it will select the, the second clip and the bottom clip. If you press Command A, it will select them all. And if you press Command Shift and A, it will deselect all your clips. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like rating and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.